Good afternoon, and it is evening or afternoon. That's what it's been like all day today. Um, they forecast rain, but we haven't had it yet. But um, they're forecasting this cloudy weather and rain for the next four days. We'll eventually get it, I guess. Um, everything's going absolutely beautiful in here. No problems at all. The batteries, yeah, they're still there. And they're looking mighty fine. Mighty fine indeed. We had an early, uh, easy day today. All right. Now, the batteries are currently at 100%, and this is correct, um, because when it got to zero, uh, after charging up, I um, push the uh, button to, that resets everything. If you go into there, and you go into battery, down the bottom, synchronize at 100%, zero current, current calibration. Um, so I set it up for lithiums and waited for them to get full. Uh, then I calibrated and zeroed. So this should be spot on now, absolutely spot on. Um, uh, batteries are chocolate block full. You can't see anything happening in here. We do have amps in here, just helping power the house on both these units. There. And up there you can see the battery volts. 57.7, .7, which is what they're supposed to be at. And um, I, I'm going to show you what happens to the, uh, because everything is measured off the uh, shunt, which is down there so any power going in or out of the batteries gets measured um, that means that all this solar that's happening now uh, is not being measured at all um, because it's not doing anything on the shunt which is interesting and gives me an interesting very interesting uh, logs okay we'll go inside and have a look on the computer now yeah. So we're looking at today so far, and you can see because it's been so overclassed and cast and cloudy today, um, you see here there's nothing because we weren't taking anything out or putting anything in at that stage. Um, we were using everything it produced that we had really heavy cloud. Um, I think and we go to here and we're putting some in and using current. I'm pointing this out to you because at the moment um, the shunt's reading zero zero so these will be off as well but you can see we only just got to 100% the time is um, 16 minutes to 4 in the afternoon alright so let's go and have a look at yesterday and you can see what I mean like Yesterday, we went down to there's 79, and then it went up to 80. So that's when I made that video, okay, that showed it at 80. But we actually went down to 79, <coughs> which is still pretty good. But you can see our power use, okay. And then here you can see um, must have been a cloud or something because. We, we started to put a bit of solar in and use a bit of power and then we just topped up the bit we used and then there's nothing because there's nothing going through the shunt. You can plainly see that there. We're at 100%. 100%, 100%, 100%, 100% and then comes the night time and we start using power again. All right, till till uh, midnight, till 2300, and then we got the morning over here. So 2300 to zero, and then over here we've got zero to zero zero fifty nine. All right, that's so. That that is even the day before, when we first 
kicked the system in and got, and got it going. We pumped a bit of solar in down there. I think I must have just turned it on for quick tests then and then down here and we got it up to 100% and then in the evening uh, we started heavily using it and went down to 90, 89%. Alright, so that's that's just as I put them in. That's the first full day and this is um, weird. So I need something, well I guess if I'm not, if I'm using all the solar I'm producing, I guess there's no real way I can measure that, is there? Um, let's see if we go to solar. No, you see, there's no real way I can measure that. Because um, obviously I'm using what the inverters are providing and everything else was turned off. So there's, there's obviously no way to record that same same here you see that just popped up on this is using from battery from solar and then I'm not taking out of the system at all and then when I come down here I'm taking a little bit from the battery probably we started a huge load okay and then we're putting back into the solar and we've got that again over here. It's, it's a really funny log. I've not seen anything like this with the lead acid batteries. Um, but these are brand new lithiums and this is my first experience with them. And I just thought I'd share um, this with you um, for yesterday. And if we look at today, when it's, well you can see it's really dark and cloudy out there. Um, you can see how it's performed today. Um, so yeah, yeah, I find that really interesting. The nerds amongst us will. Um, but I mean, the batteries are at fifty. I mean, this only takes one one picture every fifteen minutes or twelve minutes or something, and then that renews. So we're on what two minutes ago? This was from two minutes ago. Uh, and we know the batteries are sitting on 57, 56, which is, that, that's their um, bulk and float voltage is 57.7. So, they're going pretty good. They're going pretty good, people. I'm really, really happy with that. The system is performing absolutely beautiful. And I really love all the feedback you've given me on the videos. Um, if we go, hang on, here. I mean, 729 views and, and so many comments and the, the one before, I mean, and this one's got, I mean, it's just, just amazing, um, the interest and, the, and, and I love all the feedback and the thumbs up and the emo emojis and all that sort of stuff. Um, and, and this one's had 100 views in three hours, I mean, I'm just um, really blown away and I'd, I'd like to say thank you for, for viewing my videos and thank you for giving me all the thumbs up and the emojis and commenting. It really, really does help my channel and both Siggy and I really appreciate it. Okay, we really, really do. Alright, YouTube, thank you very much. Uh, keep safe. Bye for now.